Hey, what's up? Soldier Knows Best back again here, and you probably already watched my video on the unboxing of my Intel 80 gigabyte solid state drive. And this is the video going to show you actually how to install this into your MacBook Pro. So I'm going to be installing this into my unibody MacBook Pro 15 inch version that came out in late 2008. And um, you're going to need three things to go ahead and get started on this. The first thing you're going to need is, of course, the hard drive itself. And then also you're going to need a precision uh, Phillips screwdriver. This is a 2.0 millimeter and the MacBook Pro itself, the computer you're going to be working with. Now, um, remember now, before you start doing anything on the inside of any type of computer, you need to make sure you discharge any type of static electricity that, that's in your body. And you can do that just by touching some metal. And also they got a nice little wristband if you want to do that, which you can actually wear. And that will make sure you're totally free, but just touch something metal like a lamp post or something like that, and you'll be fine. So let me go ahead and get the first step out of the way to get this process going. And that is to actually just to remove the battery cover. So there's a little switch right here, press down on that. Battery pops on, the battery cover pops on up. Take that off, set it to the side. And now what you can see here, you got your battery, and now this is the hard drive right here. So I'm going to take one second, I'm going to go ahead and actually move the camera so I can zoom in right on the hard drive, and I will be right back. Okay, all right, so here we have the hard drive sitting right here, and it has a couple of brackets to actually to keep it in place. Now, you only need to remove this one little bracket right here, and this only has one screw, so take your screwdriver, set it in there, and go ahead and screw it. I know that sounds kind of bad, but <laughs> unscrew it. Now you don't need to unscrew it all the way, you just need to unscrew it just a little bit because um, you can pull it out from that point. So now i got to unscrew it a little bit, i got to pull it out, just go ahead and set this to the side. And now um, this hard drive comes with a little plastic tab on here, you just need to pull up on this. Now don't pull it all the way out, don't yank it out because you still have this co uh, connector cable right here that you actually need to pull it out, just pull it straight on out. And now your hard drive is free to go do whatever old hard drives do. So you set this to the side. And then now you need to get your brand new hard drive going to be installed. In my case, this is my solid state drive. Now you need to go ahead and match up the connectors. And just go ahead and connect this to it. Like so. Now you just want to seat this in here nice and snugly. All right. And now you need to go ahead and put this bracket back on here for it to make sure it is totally secure. So set that right back in place. Now you need to screw it again. And you're done. So your brand new hard drive is right here in the MacBook Pro, ready to go, ready to get booted up. So I'm going to just put the battery cover back on here. And actually, let me zoom out a little bit. And you're done. All right. So that was a very, very quick and easy um, installation and replacing the hard drive in the MacBook Pro. Now, the RAM, you saw my video on how to install the RAM. That was a lot more work. It wasn't as like harder but it was just a lot more work to do a lot more screws to do very easy very simple another elegant way for why is another reason to get a map because it's very easy to upgrade a hard drive and ram in this but anyway this is the end of the video Insta installation of my solid state drive now my next um, upcoming videos will probably be dealing with um, actually performance wise I might make another video as far as installation as far as like how to get your um, operating system back onto this hard drive and get up from there but be on the lookout for those and thanks for watching catch you later peace